All right, the scriptures don't teach business. The scriptures don't teach finances. Someone said every principle of business is in the scriptures and his business models are not Christians. That's not a smart person. The seed in Genesis is not corn. I told you the Bible is not a book of a Greek or how to plant. Someone said every principle of business is in the scriptures and his business models are not Christians. That's not a smart person. Now, I hope you remember there are no two interpretations to a verse of scripture. If two preachers are preaching from a verse and their interpretation differs, one is lying or both are lying. Which means what I'm teaching you here from Genesis chapter 1 any interpretation that is contrary to the interpretation we are having here now is a lie. This is God's intent. When you read Genesis chapter 1, there is no other hidden meaning outside of what I'm giving you here in this exegesis. That's why I'm taking time to help you understand the intent, the plan, the design of God in creating man and the design of God, what God intended to have when he had the thought of creating man and that can be found in genesis where we are so let's explore that word seed like i said the seed is not corn and the seed is not business all right the scriptures don't teach business the scriptures don't teach finances the scriptures teach salvation the scriptures don't teach business the scriptures don't teach finances the scriptures teach salvation salvation through faith which is in christ jesus the scriptures teach salvation through faith which is in christ jesus second timothy chapter 3 verse 15 and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So the seed principle here in Genesis, which is to sow into the earth, to sow into the heart of man, to sow into the good ground, to sow by preaching. He brings forth fruit after his kind. Look at Genesis chapter 3 verse number 15. Genesis 3.15 Please pay attention And I will put enmity between thee and the woman And between thy seed and her seed It shall bruise thy head And thou shalt bruise his heel That's the promise of redemption by God That's the promise of redemption by God And he applies the seed principle In explaining that promise he applies the seed principle in explaining that promise. She shall bring forth a seed and that seed shall bruise the head of the serpent. So can we say that the seed of the serpent is darkness in Genesis 1-2? Huh? The seed of the serpent will be darkness in genesis 1 2 can we now say that the seed of the woman is light in genesis 1 3 hello can we say it's light so genesis 1 2 without form void is the seed of the serpent genesis chapter 1 verse 3 let there be light is the seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent so the light will shine in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it so the seed there by the time you get to genesis 3 15 the seed is a human being the seed is a person by the time you get to genesis 3 15 and i can give you a bit more exegesis genesis chapter 4 verse 1 let's see eve genesis chapter 4 verse 1 and adam knew eve his wife and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. That's Eve. Genesis chapter 4 verse 25. 
Genesis chapter 4 verse 25 and Adam knew his wife again and she bore a son and called his name Seth for God said she had appointed me another seed had appointed me another seed instead of Abel whom Cain slew so by the time you get to Genesis 3 Genesis 4 that seed in Genesis 1 11 now is a human being is a person so Eve is assuming that the promise of the Redeemer in Genesis 3 15 will be her child so she assumed it will be Cain then Abel and then Cain killed Abel then she assumed that the seed of the woman will be set but at least one thing is clear the seed is a person the seed is a person so can we say the seed is a person hello can we also say that the seed is the word of God hello people are listening to your voices all over the world I want you to respond like you have some strength can we say the seed is God's light can we say the seed is God's spirit so they are all together